Some of you may be familiar with the Planck principle, which was laid out by the German theoretical physicist Max Planck in 1950. It is commonly known as science progresses one funeral at a time. Specifically, Max Planck said, and I quote, a new scientific truth does not triumph by convincing its opponents and making them see the light, but rather because its opponents eventually die and a new generation grows up that is familiar with it. As I delve deeper into the nutrition literature, I can't help but scream, yes, that is so true. But did you know that there's actual scientific evidence corroborating this hypothesis? That's right. Professor Pierre Azale from MIT published a paper in 2019 that concluded that after a star scientist dies prematurely, the flow of papers from their collaborators drops, whereas the flow of papers from non-collaborators increases. These non-collaborators also tend to be newer to their subfield as opposed to the deceased scientists collaborators who were more older in the field. Star scientists were identified by looking at who received the most funding, who had more citations for their research, who registered the most patents, who received early career awards, and who were members of the U.S. National Academy of Sciences and the National Academy of Medicine. The authors of the study conclude, and I quote, while outsiders appear reluctant to challenge leadership within a field when the star is alive, the loss of a luminary provides an opportunity for fields to evolve in new directions that advance the frontier of knowledge. Thankfully, I am not one of those scientists who is impressed by eminence, which is why I have evolved my personal and professional views regarding what an optimal human diet is, the carnivore diet, specifically the hyper carnivore diet. If you want to join the tribe, watch this video on the hyper carnivore diet and snag the mug that I created that every carnivore must have. It says, eat meat, lift, repeat, which is what I believe is the optimized lifestyle for a human being. Now, while this study proves a grim reality, does that mean we should just wait until old eminent scientists die out? Or should we instead promote flexibility and open-mindedness in all the scientists starting from a young age? Remember what Darwin famously said, it is not the strongest of the species that survives nor the most intelligent. It is the one most adaptable to change. I live my life according to that principle and I hope more scientists adopt that philosophy. I hope you liked this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up so I know to film additional videos on the topic. Also, subscribe and hit that notification bell so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.